Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. I am doing general energy readings for January 2nd and 3rd for Aries. As always, these are general readings, so they may or may not apply to you. They may not resonate to you. Take what you like, leave the rest. Using my Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot cards, I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy. Uh, this morning, I had a very pleasant surprise. Well, not pleasant. It was more than pleasant. It was exciting. Um, our, you know, we now, our channel, and I'd say we are because this is both of us, um, has reached 2,500 members as subscribers. And so I want to thank you. I want to thank you for what you've done. I thank you very much for being part of my, our journey. Um, so as we go, um, if you have not subscribed, please go below and subscribe. Also, to Aries, please watch the um, January 1st through the 16th uh, longer video. Okay, we've got a whole bunch. We've got three cards that have popped out. And um, let's just see. They all came up face up to me. But we have, so um, watch the uh, January 1st through the 16th video. I think that some of the stuff, you know, you're entering into a really interesting time. So, you know, please do that. Also, um, I'm going to ask, I'm asking all my subscribers to please share, 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 share. Tell people about me. Let's see if we can get this up to maybe 3,000. Okay. First card, and this is reverse. So reverse card means that there's a little more energy in these cards. Nine of air. Expecting the worst. You've gotten this. Self-fulfilling prophecy, sleepless night. Air, again, is the Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. So... Second card reversed again, queen of air. In fact, all you have is air here. Independent, experienced, realistic, witty. Objective decision-making, clearing away all that no longer serves you. Seeking the, seeing the humor in a situation. And the four of air is time to take a rest. Time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. So, you know, I do shuffle my cards, but I do believe that a lot of these, cards, these, some of these cards come up for you quite a bit. So this means that you're still in this energy period. This isn't the energy period again. Now, generally, full moon to new moon, release, let things go, um, you know, worries go, um, you know, people that drain your energy. You know, I tell people, go outside. And for you, Aries, write them on a piece of paper. Go outside and burn it. Safe area, though. Okay, don't burn down a lot of area, you know, a lot of other areas. So, um, but I'm feeling like, yeah, you still, you still, you know, you're, you, you go up and down a little bit with your energies. And this thing about expecting the worst comes back and forth to you, you know, throughout. Because I, I do believe this nine of air comes up for you a lot. So, you know, with that, you know, you, you know, you're going, oh, you know, like Eeyore. Remember, I don't know if anybody want, did Winnie the Pooh. I never watched Winnie the Pooh. I never read the stories that much, but I was aware of them for my children. And Eeyore was the one that was always that pessimistic, you know, person that just, you know, no, it's not going to happen. No, here's some honey. Oh, no, I'm going to get sick. No, you've got to, you, you know, you've got to start projecting, you've got to start projecting more of a positive energy. And so what if something, you know, so what if it doesn't totally go your way? If you're not trying, then you're already um, self-sabotaging, you know, you know, the answer is already no, if you don't try. Okay, so if there's a person that you want to ask out, oh, she's, she, he's never going to go out with me. Yeah, because you never asked. What if that one time they did go out? And if they said no, see, look at that, you were right. But you did not, you know, you did, you know, you were always fearful. So I'm feeling fear and I'm feeling, not fear, I'm feeling that there's just this, this fearful anxiety in you these two days. And I'm, I'm talking about that maybe you need, you know, you need to kind of step back. You need to kind of, you know, where the queen of air is saying, see the, you know, humor in things, you know, chill back a little bit. Chill back if you can, because, you know, I, I, you know, Aries, your energy is, you know, you've got fire energy and it's, it's just, it's just like it's, it's not, you're, it's not controlled fire energy right now. Okay. And, you know, if now you have two things about, you know, making decisions here. So if you have to make a decision, then like a, just hold off on doing that if you're able to do that. I mean, if, if you have the time to do that, hold off on doing that. 
And Aries, I'm really going to suggest to you, especially these next two days, find a way to ground yourself, okay? Find a way. Get, on, get onto YouTube. There's a lot of things, you know, um, grounding, grounding meditation. You know, type in meditation grounding. Do some, do some grounding, okay? Because I'm feeling that your, you know, your fire is just, it's just kind of all over the place. And I don't think you want, you want that because, you know, you've worked really hard to get into a better place. So this is kind of that time that, you know, you don't, you don't want that. Un, you don't want it to be so uncontrolled. Okay. And that could be with your work. That could be with your relationships. It could be either or you know, your personal relationships. I look at work as a relationship too. So I'm just, you know, I'm just saying for you, because I don't want you to get an ulcer. This worrying and this, this worrying, you know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like we're in the pit of my stomach. I'm feeling like an ulcer. Okay. And I'm not, I'm not diagnosing you with an ulcer. I'm just saying, I don't want that. You, you don't have control over a lot of things. Can, you know, if there's something that you can do differently, okay, maybe do that differently. But the worry that you have and that you hold, Aries, I never knew you were such worriers, and it seems like you are, okay? Especially these two days. Let it go. Try to find the humor. Try to laugh. Even, you know, watch, go and watch the dumbest TV show you can that's, that's going to make you roll down on the floor laughing, you know? Try to do that because you need to release. Or if you're somebody, you know, because, you know, if you're somebody who needs to, you know, that go run, go run, go do something. Do something to ground yourself. Okay? Okay. So Aries, you know, again, thank you so much for helping me. And I hope that this kind of helps you too these next two days. Um, you know, couldn't, I couldn't be here without you. So I do thank you so much. And let me end as always, you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.